Now, when you make an online purchase, the product is usually kept inside such massive warehouse of tens, among tens of thousands of other kind of products. Now, the entire process is not just time consuming, but tedious as well. And these jobs are not just done alone by human beings. Startups such as Flipkart, Mintra, Pepperfry, and logistic companies like DTDC are using an army of robots by Grey Orange to make the entire process not just efficient, but faster as well. So Grey Orange is basically a company that makes products and solutions for uh, warehousing and logistics industry. Uh, we have multiple product lines that uh, run in different part of uh, warehouses. So you know, while uh, sortation uh, is a product that handles uh, the packets once they are packed for sorting them into, let's say, Delhi, Bombay, in different regions, or uh, you know, according to that, and uh, you know, another product line, Butler System, basically helps you manage, you know, starting from the order it comes to a, you know, a company to, you know, getting it packed. So it basically automates uh, that part of uh, your picking and uh, storing um, process. It almost looks like this, uh, order comes in to this automated warehouse and uh, suddenly a rack appears in, in front of the person who picks and, um, you know, uh, you know, gives it to, for packing and uh, gets dispatched. I think the amazing thing that it does is that you know, it makes it possible to, you know, ship orders from order to dispatch times in the likes of 20 minutes. So, you know, we have seen cases where order has placed at, let's say, you know, 4 to 8 p.m. And it was, you know, packed at like 4.15, 4.17 p.m. So, you know, your order to dispatch times become so, so low and so real time. That pretty much helps any of these e-commerce companies to you know, give you, you know, same day deliveries, next day deliveries, you know, pretty much the whole ecosystem is going towards real-time deliveries. So it pretty much starts helping all, all of these, uh, you know, e-commerce, retail, all players to kind of deliver very fast with a very good accuracy and, and, and have a bunch of flexibility. And we have seen like e-commerce giant as Amazon, Amazon as well. They've acquired a company and they're also doing automation and they're mm -hmm. automating their warehouse as well. Mm -hmm. How your technology is unique and different from, you know, all the technologies that have been adopted in the West, right, specifically. So see, there, there are different, uh, you know, uh, aspects of this, right? So, you know, one, of course, the technology that we have developed is not only for e-commerce, right? We are doing uh, warehouses for uh, different uh, manufacturing places also, retail companies also. So our technology is not limited to, you know, e-commerce, anything like that, right? We have now built a platform of hardware and software uh, with which we are, uh, you know, solving problems in retail warehousing space, in e-commerce warehousing space, in uh, spare part handling space, uh, in manufacturing warehouses. So I think, uh, you know, uh, instead of building a system for just e-commerce or something like that, our aim always was to build a good platform so that uh, you can make any kind of warehouse really, really flexible and efficient. And that's pretty much the unique factor that you will see in, uh, in our systems. Um, warehousing started with the boom in the e-commerce space as well. Mm -hmm. So how has been the reaction from the clients that are so I think, uh, I, I would say initially it, it was tough to kind of get the whole concept through, you know, uh, you know, normally how in other countries warehousing has gone is manual, then semi-automatic, then automatic and then to a good to person kind of technology, right? So people would have done handhelds, then people would have done conveyors and then people would have done bots, right? Uh, while in India, you know, India is, you know, re really famous for leapfrogging, yeah, right? So in India, I think uh, we are going from manual to directly, you know, uh, a goods to person system. So, you know, of course, it takes time to, you know, get the concept through, you know, get that understanding, uh, not only in, you know, uh, you know, putting a system up, but for operating as well, right? You know, having those warehousing managers that can operate a system like this, right? Run automated warehouse, again, takes some amount of time for them to understand and, you know, uh, get their thinking right to run these kind of warehouses. So of course, initially, it is it is a tough part, but I think once people understand the technology, they understand the impact of it, I think uh, then we, haven't, we have seen customers being really, really aggressive about things. Nice.